Hey guys, I want to do a video about our level two duty holsters that we make. Uh, we make these for a lot of options, but we also make them uh, specifically for the Burna HD. Uh, one thing that we do with our level two holsters is we use a Spets gear hood strap release. This is a uh, very common among the industry of holster makers. So chances are you're probably gonna be familiar with it. It's not gonna be like trying to learn some new weird release system. So that's a plus for it. One thing we do also is you make sure to have a very large gap around the trigger guard. There's tons of room for my fingers. And I have big fingers. The reason we do that is so that you can you can grab your gun, get a full purchase on it, even if you have big, thick gloves on. Because this is designed to be worn uh, on a duty belt outside the waistband. So you may be in a situation where you're wearing gloves for it. Another thing is the hood strap. It's easy to manipulate with or without gloves. So if you had a glove on, it's not like it's gonna get caught up. But if you had like a thumb strap or if you had a thumb brake, Sometimes those get tricky to manipulate when you have gloves on. And we have three screws on here for just for retention and securement. Uh, these that we put three on here, you could probably only get away with two, but we do three because you know overkill is underrated. This is a philosophy here. And if you have one screw that happens to fall out, you still have two other ones holding in there. On the note of them falling out, all of our holsters ship with Loctite. So if it falls out, honestly, that's kind of on you because we supply you with the things you need to make sure that doesn't happen. So that is something that we supply. And then we also have all these different holes. So if I can get to focus, there we go. So you can have a different carry angle. A ride height is not, not very adjustable. You can raise and lower it a little bit. You can also use these uh, clips on the side here. Now this is our G-code fix loops that we offer on our website. Uh, you can also purchase these without any attachment. If you had your own Safari Land Harbor that you were a big fan of, or you had a QLS system, or even a Blackhawk system or your own G-code mount, then you wouldn't have to purchase it from us. You can just buy just the holster with no attachment. Another thing about our duty holsters is, as you can see, there's no contact between the hood strap and the actual gun itself. Now that way there's nothing for it to snag on. So there's no friction at all between the gun and the hood strap as it releases, as it is spring loaded. And all the retention comes from the holster itself. As you can see, there's a pretty positive snap on it. You can adjust retention to your heart's content on these, but it can be used as a fully functional holster without the hood strap. So, so if you accidentally bump it and it's down, you're not going to be worrying about your gun dropping out on you because it's still it's still pretty good in there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave us a comment or shoot me an email. I uh, get back to emails pretty quick. I'm usually less than a day. Thank you all for your time, and as always, stay strapped.